Howdy everyone, welcome back to our channel. We're Dome Life and I'm Cody. And I'm Kelly. And today we're gonna to be taking a look at the Jolka Nomad Kit. Before we get started, I wanna remind you guys to check out our channel every Thursday, 8 p.m. Central Standard Time for our weekly vlogs. Now let's get right into it. This Jolka tub doubles as a sink and it also stores everything that comes with the Nomad Kit inside of it. So let's check this out. Everything that comes in this includes, of course, the water heater. So this water heater runs off two things, water pressure, propane, actually three things, including two D batteries here. These two D batteries will indicate your temperature, your battery life, water pressure, if the flame hasn't started, and then if it gets too hot, it'll start flashing. Over here you have your flame level that controls how much propane is being pushed into the actual heater. And then this dial controls your water flow pressure coming through. On the bottom of this kit, you have your propane hookup, your inlet, or no, this is your outlet hose for your hot water, and this is your inlet hose for your cold water. It comes with a hook, or handle so you can actually hang this from a tree or you can hang it from a door however you'd like to hang it or this unit actually comes with a sturdy stand which is put inside of here so let's go through the rest of these things so I can actually get to the stand all right you got your hot water outlet hoses you got your cold water inlet hoses propane hookup and I've actually kept using this insert here because it includes your kitchen sink your shower nozzle your water filter so this filter system is really cool this is your primary filter this is your sinking weight this keeps your weight in place and then this is your secondary filter so when you put this in the river and you're done using it, you can uh, clean it up immediately. And they have it made separately because you can directly hook up a hose to it and drop it into a six gallon water jug if you needed to, like we have uh, back at camp. But if you're gonna throw it in the river, it comes with this cage here. And this cage keeps your filter off the bottom of the ground in the river so that it, or the bed of the river, so that it won't uh, suck in rocks, gravel, or any other kind of soot. And then you just pop it together like that. This also comes with your water pump, a 12 volt cable to hook up. We actually brought a jackery down to power this, or you can plug it directly into your vehicle. And then this is for your kitchen sink. This holds your sink uh, spout onto the sink. This is your shower holder that has a magnetic bag so you can actually stick this to the side of a vehicle or any other metal surface. And then finally we're down to the sturdy stand to hold the water heater on. So let's set this up real quick, it's really easy. Also, he said something about the Jackery power bank. This is the power bank that we have that we are using to hook it up to. It can fit any other power bank. There's different brands out there. As long as you have a 12 volt hookup, it should work. First part is these are really nice. These are quick connects to where it's super easy just to insert it through any of the other adapters to the hoses. Super easy, super fast, and then you just it on out there on the pumps when they come from the factory they have these little red tabs on the ends i have actually chose to continue to have these because if, as you notice water's starting to drip out and that keeps the inside of that tub dry and there is an arrow on the back to make sure you follow the flow of the water so water going in so we need to hook this one on this side use a 12 volt plug hook up to the jackery or like we said, a vehicle if you choose. Then you have your outlet hose from your pump. Quick connect. 
run it under. And then I kept these plastic covers as well on the ends to help kind of keep crud out of them. So you got your inlet hose, quick connect. Then we have our hot water hose, quick connect. Propane is also a quick connect. That simple. Set it down. Then you have your outlet hose for your hot water. What is really neat about the Nomad kit is it comes with a splicer. And with this splicer, you hook it up to your hot water hose. Then you can hook it up to your sink or you can hook it up to your shower and have it all running off the same system at once. And from there, I give it over to my beautiful angel princess, Kelly. Okay, my, well, I like the shower and the sink, but I wanna talk about the sink right now. So it's basically the tub that stores everything in it. There is a stopper here. This is like a drain plug. So there's a stopper here on the inside and then one that screws on the outside that you can remove to let water drain. They also have a hose that you can connect here so water doesn't splash everywhere. You can just let it drain down to the ground. This is your water faucet and you can connect this piece here. It goes right here and that way you have a hands-free sink. These are the lids to the top of the tub, but it also doubles as a drying station. So it has these little lips on this side. And what you do is you just put them in here and slide them forward till they latch in. And then you have a place to set your dishes to dry after you wash them. It does have an on off switch so you don't have to waste water and you don't have to hold the water as you're washing dishes. So it's hands free like you're at home using a sink. Also on these drying uh, lids, they are sturdy enough to hold a cast iron skillet. So you can put a lot of dishes up here. So I'm going to take my hot water and it is a quick connect and we're just going to put it here and we're ready to go. So Cody's gonna turn the pump on. So with the pump situation, when you have the 25 foot extra length, it takes longer to prime the hose. You wanna make sure you have a shorter hose going into the water so that the pump doesn't have to prime. If, it's at the top, if the pump is at the top of the hill and it's trying to prime all that on the back end, it's never gonna get water up. So you make sure you have the shorter hose going into the river, river or water source, and then turn it on. If you hear, it's actually priming already and it just shut off. It senses when there's pressure built up inside the system and the uh, pump will actually completely disengage. But once you turn on the sink or the shower head, it will reignite and it takes 10 PSI of water pressure to ignite this. So if it's not turning on, don't freak out. You just gotta wait until this prime. So the longer the hose is, the longer it takes to prime, usually about a minute or so. But like I said earlier, you control your temperature here, your water pressure here. So let's go full max on water pressure. You wanna do full heat, babe? Let's do full heat. And turn it on. There it goes. Yeah, if you hear it just ignited, that 10 PSI pressure, actually this thing's pushing more than 10 PSI pressure. I'm not sure what it is. But this just ignited. It's getting hot. It's getting hot. She's sitting at 98, 99, 100. Oh, yeah, one, two, three, four. Last night we got this thing up to about 120, I think. We got it on up there. It's super hot. Super hot. So there you go. You can just wash dishes right here. You can control the water here. And then you can set your dishes up here to dry. That simple. Yeah, hey, turn that off for real quick. So hold on, turn it back on. And listen to this when she turns it on. So you can actually hear it ignite. Now turn it off. And then everything shuts off. Isn't that awesome? But that's not the most exciting part of this. The most exciting part is, you see this greasy hair I got going on right now? That's the most exciting part. Show them the shower head, babe. 
So like he showed you before, we have the, um, I don't know what you would, what would you call that? Splice. I'd splice. call it a splice. Okay. So we have the shower head hooked up. And so this is, I just want you to see what the shower head looks like before I turn it on. But it also has an attachment as well where you can either hook it onto something or if it's magnetic, you can put it to your vehicle. And let me turn it on. So same thing, that's igniting. And do we have the pressure all the way up? Uh, yeah, yeah full okay. pressure. So it's already getting hot. So we have a shower. A hot shower. And I'm so excited because we need to take one like right now. And the other thing is, is that uh, Jolka has a shower tent. In that shower tent, you can have a hook that this hangs up in the center, but you use one of those other hoses and this is gonna shoot out. So, oh, <laughs> it's off. Anywho, you add another hose on top of this, which extends this to where it can be above your head. And then this, you control that just like that. Sorry, babe. <laughs> So we do plan on purchasing the shower tent as well. And it's just really nice. Um, if you watch our channel, we camp all the time for multiple days at a time. And when it's a little bit chilly outside or if it's really cold outside, it's just nice to have a hot shower when it's been a couple of days. So we're really excited about this. And I wanted to add one more thing about controlling the heat and pressure together. So over here on this unit, if you want, and this all relates to temperature. Like I said earlier, this controls the flow. If you want to max this thing out at the hottest it can go, you need to reduce the pressure or the flow. Let me correct that. You need to reduce the flow to the minimum flow. It's going to cause the water to go through it a lot slower and it's going to heat up even more. And that's when it's going to hit those max temperatures that might pull your skin off. And then if you want to actually make it colder, you want to get your max flow and if that's still not cold enough for you you can reduce your flame how much propane is actually going into this hot tap system well guys that was our review of the jolka nomad kit we will put the link their website below in the description and we are about to take a hot shower so i'm really excited yeah if you'd like to know how we feel about this shower part of the whole process make sure you check out our vlog which you put we post every thursday mm -hmm. at 8 p.m central standard time however if you like this video make sure you give us a thumbs up hit that notification bell and subscribe and we'll catch you on the other <laughs>